This has been a different kind of Easter. We've had to adjust. None of us were able to go to church while we still had virtual worship. We weren't able to have big family gatherings for dinner, but you still ate. And I said, what is the missing ingredient? Where I grew up in Baltimore, every Easter Sunday night was a citywide gospel concert at First Apostolic. I said, I'm gonna bring it to Atlanta and then to the whole world. I need you to please get on the phone, get on social media, tell everybody in your family, we're the only ones on the web doing a pop-up concert. We've got none other than our own pastor of fine arts and music, Minister Jonathan Nelson. It's gonna be an amazing night. Do me a favor, do not sit back. Do not get uncomfortable, but put your praise slippers on and get ready because we're all gonna go into worship and Thanksgiving. It's gonna be an amazing night. He's coming and I want you, even as you are led by the Spirit on tonight, if you feel so compelled, I want you to sow a seed into our ministry at any moment to any of our platforms. Let's just have a great night. I don't want to interrupt the concert. There is no halftime, no intermission. I'm just going to unleash Minister Jonathan and we're going to rock it out in Jesus' name. Have an incredible resurrection. And when it is over, don't log off. We're going to give our replay, our rewind from this morning's resurrection celebration. God bless you. Hey, everybody, wherever you are, come on, get ready to celebrate with us. Come on. I'm expecting great things, and I pray that you are too. Come on, this is just...
blessing is on you. You ought to start typing, the blessing is on you. Now listen, I need somebody to know that your name is Victory. If you're victorious, I don't know why y'all sitting down. You ought to get up off that couch and just start dancing and celebrating just a little bit tonight. Come on. Come on, move your feet with us tonight. Everybody, come on. Let's get it in there, houses. I've got to say it. I've got it.
Uh-oh, we get ready to go to the island. Somebody ought to get on their feet. Hey, hey.
Corey and I, we grew up in Pentecostal churches. I grew up in an apostolic church. Corey, he grew up in a, a, church, a culture church. And uh, it's some people with different ages that's sitting at home, Corey. And uh, in our church at New Birth, we have an intergenerational church. So maybe this moving is just a little bit too much for them. Let me slow it down a little bit. So long, bye-bye. Daddy, if you're watching, it's for you. So long, bye-bye. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow. Hey, goodbye to trouble, cause it don't last away. So long, so long, so long. Just a little bit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I feel like having a little church, Pastor. We have the victory. Oh, oh, oh. In the name of Jesus. That mighty, awesome healing name of Jesus. Satan, you tried some stuff this year, Satan. Corona, you've been plaguing the nation, Satan. Corona, you've been plaguing this land. You have to go. Bye bye. Oh, tell me who can stand me before us when we when we call. to declare his name. Say it, y'all. children say Jesus church son we have the victory you playing real cute can you play like a little can you a little sunday night church there we go we have the victory somebody's dealing with some craziness in your life you've lost some loved ones somebody you know having trouble breathing tonight, but we declare you have Worship Jesus. Hey. Wherever you are, just lift your hands and worship. Wherever you are, just lift your hands and worship Jesus.
This is a time where we celebrate resurrection, what Jesus did on the cross. He died, but he rose again. Somebody ought to type, he, Jesus lives. You ought to type that in there. Jesus lives. Jesus lives. Somebody say, Jesus lives. Jesus lives. No, no, no. Say it like you got some power. Say, hey. Jesus lives. Jesus, Jesus lives. lives. When he died on the cross, he shed his blood for us. And I feel like it's our responsibility just to say something very simple. You ought to just lift your hands wherever you are. We're making wherever we are a sanctuary tonight. Just say, Jesus, I love you. Come on, lift up your praise. Lift up your worship. Say, Jesus, I love you. Come on, Jesus, I love you. Somebody lift up your worship. Jesus, I love you. Come on, Jesus, I love you. We honor you, Lord. Millions of words can describe the feeling I have down inside it's hard to contain so I'll simply say so I'll simply say so Jesus, Jesus. glory to God you use your voice and say, come on. The feeling, the feeling that I have down on the inside. Glory to God. Inside. It's hard to contain it. It's hard to contain so I'll simply say, so I'll simply say what are you going to say?
Glory to God. I feel the glory of God. COVID, you got to pass over homes. You got to pass over. It's, it's mothers in the hospital. It's fathers in the hospital. It's loved ones in the hospital. And we decree and declare by the power of the blood of Jesus that you got to go tonight. We decree and declare by the power of the blood of Jesus you got to go tonight. You got to go tonight. You got to go tonight. We serve you notice that we're covered by the blood of Jesus. Hey, that about Shataya. Glory to God. Families are covered by the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Send your healing power. Heal Jesus. Somebody lost a loved one. Their heart is broken. Their heart is broken. But do what you do, Jesus. Do what you do, Jesus. Do what you do, Jesus. Work a miracle. Work a miracle now. Send a miracle now. Send a miracle now to New York. Send a miracle to New York. Hey, I don't about shut up. Send a miracle to Baltimore and Philly. Send a miracle to Los Angeles. And wherever the news head, there are hot spots. Send a miracle. Hey, send a miracle. Send a miracle. You're a miracle. You're a miracle worker. You're a miracle worker. You're a miracle worker. And for everybody working the front line, the police, the nurses, the doctors, let your blood cover them. Let your blood cover them. Let your blood cover them. Miracle worker. Do what you do, miracle worker. Hey, glory to God. Miracle worker, do what you do. Miracle worker, do what you do. Miracle worker, work a miracle. We believe. We believe. And wherever you are, whatever you've been going through, God says the struggle is over for you. You've been in that place 
long enough and your mountain side but we declare the struggle is on moving on the struggle is on feel something breaking the struggle is over for you the struggle is over the struggle I don't know what you're going through at home, but the struggle, the struggle is over. for you, for the struggle you. is the struggle yes, over. the struggle is over, struggle come on, let's go, over. the struggle is over, turn it around, the struggle is over. just stay right there, the struggle is over, the struggle is over. just stay right there, the struggle is over. sir. Pastor Brian and I, we, we got a little old school roots in us. We like contemporary, but we got a little old school roots in us. And I don't know, I just feel it in my spirit tonight. My daddy taught me a song that says, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say. Sunday night, let's have a little Sunday night joy night service. I need you to lift your voice, say, whatever my life. Come on, say it.
I know we're live in a sanctuary. Y'all can just stay right there for a second. I know we're live in a sanctuary right now. And I don't know wherever you are, but uh, I just want to have a little second of our church. I've been singing, I've been singing, uh, I need to, can you give me a little bit of that guitar? Come on, like, like we in a Kojic church. You know, uh, I've been, um, I've been seeing a lot of people say, uh, when I get back to church, I'm gonna go and dance it. I talked to one of my friends yesterday who overcame COVID-19. And I wanna encourage somebody that there are overcomers out there. Don't be inundated with the television and the news. You gotta feed yourself with the word of God. But you don't have to wait, hold on, hold on. You don't have to wait till the battle's over. That's what my pastor said. He said, you ought to shout now. That's what, that's what he said. So listen, put that click on. See, you, you don't have to wait till you get back to church. I need you to have a little bit of church wherever you are. I need you to have a little bit of church. We only got about 30 seconds. But wherever you are, I tell you just to have a little bit of change in my heart. we celebrate you. We lift you up. We give your name glory. We give your name honor. We wait on piano. We give your name praise. We are, we're praying for you. We're praying for you. Wherever you are, we're praying for you. This is a, we're in uncertain times, but New Birth is praying for you. My pastor, Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryan, we're praying for you. Praying for those connected to you. And so, can you just do me a favor? Can you just take 30 seconds, grab your children, grab them together. They might be on Netflix. They might be doing something different. Maybe they're doing their homework or something. But just, can you just grab your family together for a moment? Grab your family together. I love you, Jesus. Play that for me, please. And uh, we just, um, we want to pray for you what's going on in your home. I don't know what's going on to those that are connected to you. So Father, right now, according to your word, Father, you have not given us a spirit of fear, but you've given us a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And so Father, we declare, dec decree and declare that over every home, Father, you're giving answers, you're sending answers. And Father, we thank you that you're sending miracles and Father, we thank you that your blood covers us from the top of our head to the very soles of our feet. Father, those that are, even in our homes, that are <clears throat> struggling to gasp for air. Father, open up their passages. Open up their air passages now. Father, we pray that you would just start, just start sending us miracles. Father, we thank you for testimonies going up on Facebook. Thank you for testimonies going up on Twitter. 
Thank you for pe that people are going to be sending pictures and thank you for testimonies on IG Live and on Instagram. We thank you for testimonies. People are going to Snapchat. Oh my God, I'm with my mother right now. God healed her of COVID. We thank you for miracles. We thank you for signs and wonders, Father. If you did it in the Bible days and you healed plagues and you did it back then, Father, you're the same God. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And Father, we thank you. We give your name glory, honor, and praise in advance because we know that it's already done. We thank you, Father. Thank you for shedding your blood on Calvary. And Father, for anybody that's not saved tonight, Father, we pray that they will make a confession that they want to know you in a very real way. That they'll make a confession that you are Lord. They make a confession that you are Savior. And they'll make a confession that tonight I, I am saved. Father, that you are the Lord of their lives. We thank you for all these things in Jesus' mighty name. We have just a few minutes left, everybody. I honor my pastor, Dr. Jamal Harris and Brian. Thank God for the great church called New Birth. I celebrate my family. I miss you all. I can't wait till we're able to get back together to worship together. Make sure y'all bring your praise because when we get back to church, we're going to go crazy. But tonight... There is a, there's a, the giving is on the screen. We ask tonight that you can just give a seat. Everybody, if you just get a seat of $20, everybody right now, everybody get a seat of $20. Our church has been doing some amazing things in our community. We've been giving away food and still blessing people that have lost jobs and so many things. And it takes a lot of finance to still do and operate ministry. So I'm asking everybody in this moment right now, everybody just give a $20 seat. Tell your husband, say, hey, baby, I got to just get a seed because I need my house to be blessed. Yeah. I need to sow this seed into the ground. And, Father, we pray for every giver tonight. We pray, Father, that you will give back to them, give back to them. And, Father, that you will give it 30, 60, and 100, 1,000 fold. That is our prayer. We thank you for joining us tonight. We honor you, Pastor. Thank you for this great team of people that has assembled to give their time and efforts and their energy to make this night a great night. Now listen, we're going home celebrating. I need everybody to get up on your feet. We're decreeing and declaring tonight we're not leaving this broadcast without saying that you are healed. I need everybody to decree and declare that I am healed. Look at somebody. Don't now now don't don't give them a high five. Just 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 look at them and say say I am healed. Anybody healed? Come on, let's let's decree and declare. That. Come on everybody. Put your hands on it. Come on. Story. Hey, got a story to tell you about some things that. I but I'm healed. But I'm healed. Oh, I'm healed. Oh, I'm healed. Had some ups and some downs. Say it. Had some ups and some downs. But I'm healed. But I'm healed. Oh, I'm healed. Oh, I'm healed. Had to wrestle all night long. I wondered what went wrong. But I'm healed. Oh, I'm healed. Had some sunshine, some rain. Had some sunshine, some rain. Heartache and some pain. Heartache and some pain. I'm healed. Oh, I'm healed. I'm healed. My, healed. God My God has touched me. Say it.
circumstances say A strong finish yeah. because you have strong faith. Come on. Bring it up. Let's go. Hey, hey. In this race that we run, you gotta have endurance because it's a marathon. I was born sure enough to win. Suit with faith until the end. I'm going to have. 